swag, bitch. Good morning, YouTube. Um, today, I'm going to give you a journey on how I park the car and what I have to do to make sure that the car stays clean and that my tires don't start cracking. First thing is unlock this door and move it to and open it so I can take out the Z. Um, it weighs a lot and yeah, it's kind of a hassle to move. Then I have to remove both covers. Um, I used two covers. One, um, the first one I bought it um, and I didn't realize that it didn't cover against water. So I needed a second one and thankfully the one that I, on the bottom popped up on offer up for uh, $30. It's, uh, it's, it's on Amazon for like $80 and it's perfect. It covers against water, helps against the sun and it has uh, some clips that you can clip onto the wheels, that way it doesn't end up flying. Uh, right now we're sparked, there's no wind, since um, uh, part of the car is covered by the house and the other part is covered by the fence, but where it used to be parked, um, there used to be a lot of wind, and the other car actually had flown uh, a couple times. Uh, but as you can see, this one has these uh, cool little clips that you can just clip onto the wheels. Um, it won't uh, scratch them or anything, so you good with that and also if you have carbon fiber parts like I do with the hash on the hood um, it will protect it against the uh, sun for the UV light so your clear coat should last more also um, when it rains uh, the water won't drip into the end of it uh, if you have a hood like mine that has uh, the air vents um, it's a little bit of a mission to move the car, take, take out the car, uh, just because of where it's parked and because of the covers. But since I can only use this car on the weekends, um, it's, not, it's not a big deal for me. I don't have to do this every day. Um, and as you can see, it keeps the car super clean, so I don't have to worry about cleaning the car every weekend. Uh, sometimes I do, but I don't. it's not really something that is needed since the car stays clean during the whole week and I don't have to worry about that. Um, so let's start it up. And I bought some little carbon fiber overlays that I'm gonna try to put on now. So I'm gonna be adding these uh, carbon fiber overlays to my air vent. As you can see, I already closed it. Um, see how much of a match they are because um, I bought them from Amazon and he said uh, it was for a 350 CE but the picture had a 370 CE so hopefully they work. So if you see this car fire overlays on Amazon I don't recommend buying them. Uh, they don't sit well and the filament sucks too. Um, so he here's where I parked the car as you can see it's mostly just dirt and dead grass um, so what I'm going to be doing today is moving the pavers the one on the backs um, for the passenger side I have to move a little bit to the right and then on the front I'm gonna use these big ones to cover more ground so the tires are not touching the dirt at all uh, as you can see that's my old hatch um, Probably gonna end up selling it since I don't I don't think I'll ever put it back. But for now it's just chilling in my backyard. So here's where I used to park the Z. Um, it used to be pretty good. Um, so this is the only area in the house that has like concrete and it's not parked in the dirt. And it looks amazing. The sun he says just right um, in the carbon fiber pieces. And this is how it looks after I'm done. As you can see the bigger pavers to cover all the tire. And the one at the back, I just moved the one on the passenger side. And hopefully this time I don't have any issues when I park the car. It's a quick trick if 
you have the same issue as me, you can probably buy this in Home Depot. I just got it from the previous owner. And nice kind of thing like parking the car there. It's a little bit of a tight space. And um, I should be able to do it without a problem, but um, most of the time I do it at night, so it's kind of hard to see. Like an hour away. 